During our last few days in Vietnam, Allison fell deathly sick and was stuck in bed. So I got to take her place doing everyday Vietnamese things. It started with getting breakfast with her dad. This is Mi Wang, a dish famous to central Vietnam. And it is yet another famous noodle dish packed with vegetables, herbs, pork, peanuts, and seafood in a shallow but very flavorful broth. Now this one in particular is special because of crab. It's not just any crab. These are caught nearby while the crabs are molting, so the shell is actually soft enough to eat. Ironically, this is Allison's favorite dish of all time. And she has actually never had it with this seasonal soft-shelled crab. So of course, I thoroughly enjoyed it. After that, we got coffee around the corner and then headed to the supermarket. Now the supermarkets here are not too different from Western supermarkets. It's just their produce sections are way more vast, way more variety, tons of exotic fruits, and their snack aisles would put ours to shame. I would say half of the supermarket is dedicated to snacks. To finish out the day, we played with my electric travel guitar set. And then we headed to get yet another one of Allison's favorite things in the world, Nam Noon. This is a heavenly grilled pork sausage wrapped in all of the usual fixings of rice paper, lettuce, fresh herbs, and pickled vegetables. And to Allison, I'm so sorry I stole one of your favorite food experiences, but it was really good and I would probably do it again. Seeing Vietnam during this trip was bittersweet. It was a mixture of reliving what Allison and our families cherished growing up, but also realizing that some part of that no longer exists. We want to say that now is the time to still see the old style of Vietnam. But every time we go back, the buildings are quickly growing taller and logos shine brighter at night. Still, there's a warm confidence about Vietnam. Like it doesn't need to tell you how amazing it is. You just come here, experience, and walk away deeply satisfied. Being away from home is like watching a movie in fast forward. Each visit is a pause, always long enough to be happy about seeing my loved ones, but gone just as quick to remind me of reality. With each visit, it edges in my mind how grown up my siblings have become and how I've never gotten to see it happen. Enough to see the deepened wrinkles on my parents' face. Enough to wish I could have held on to the past just a little bit longer. But as those new buildings go up, I feel my simplest, most treasured memories slipping away. To make way for the new billboards, fast food chains, and way of life, I can't help but feel conflicted. But Vietnam is forever growing and changing, mostly for the better, I would argue. And I couldn't be prouder and happier for my little country.